Hey everyone and welcome to Curse Fitness, thanks for checking out my page. Today's workout, what we're going to be doing is the MMA Super Strong Six Pack Workout. And it's designed for your abs and obliques, so uh, getting nice and strong. Basically what, what this uh, workout is designed to do is one, tone your stomach. Um, so if you have a bit of a podge belly, this will help with that. The second thing is to increase your core strength. The third thing it's going to do is increase the lining of your stomach strength. So uh, you can take punches better and all stuff like that if that's what you want to do. And thirdly, it will increase your muscle definition. So you should be able to see your uh, six pack lines. So um, hopefully this will help you out. I will just say, uh, one of the main important things with uh, your stomach, if you do want to see the muscles, is your food, what you eat. If you're going to be eating crap food, then unfortunately you are going to put weight on here and no matter how big the stomach muscles behind the fat is, you'll never see them. So it is important to watch what you're eating for this and uh, then you'll turn your stomach up, then the muscles will be there. But this will help you, so uh, hopefully you will enjoy it. Thank you. Okay, like any other muscle, um, you should stretch before you actually start to exercise it. This is why I find the best stretch for your stomach to be, for me. Um, what, what I basically do, lay flat down, on the floor and push yourself up, keeping your body down like this and basically make yourself as thin as you, as you can. So if you're like this before, then breathe in. That's what you're doing. So from here, we push ourselves up, make yourself really thin, lean to the left, right and to the left and do that three times. Okay. The first thing is arch back sit-ups. Basically what that is, is uh, normal sit-ups where you're all doing this. But instead of that, we're actually arching our back when we get here. So when we get here, it's all the way up. So you can see the arch in the back and then up. And again, what that's doing is opening all your stomach muscles, really stretching them out as you, as you go to sit up. So, we're going down, stretching them out, and up. That's to target the whole area then. So what, what, what you do with these is you do one set, and it's 25 to 30. Up, so, up, three. Okay, what we do after every exercise we do is we're gonna do back to the start and do the stretches again. So you lay on your side, push yourself up and make yourself as thin as you can, slide a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, and down. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do is a twisting sit-up. These are designed to um, target the outer edges of your stomach and also your oblique muscles. Okay, basically what we're doing for this is every time we go up, we're going up, touching the knee, right elbow to your left knee and left elbow to your right knee. So we're going up, we're twisting. This time there's no arch back, it's just a normal sit-up. I'll show you from the front, so you can see. We're going up, twist. Up, twist, twist. What I tend to do for this is uh, 26 usually to, well, whatever you do, make sure it's even each side. If you're gonna do 25, one side's getting work, one extra, and you don't want that. So make sure you're doing an even number each side. We're going one, two, three, four. Okay, the third set of exercises we do is a sit up where you're going directly up towards the ceiling. Hands on your head and you just sit up and push yourself forward, straight up, like that. Okay, what that is doing is targeting the upper abs. Um, I always find this best as a sort of, just it's like a similar to a crunch as you do these, but you're actually going straight up, so it's perfectly good for these upper abs, okay? I'll show you how many we do. We're gonna do the same again, 25 to 30, and straight up. You can either put your hands up as you do that, if that helps. I prefer to have my hands by my sides, just so I can more push up. Okay, so we're just going to take you through doing 10 again, so you can see how I'm doing them. One, two, three, four, five. I'll show you five from this angle. One, two, three, four. Okay, the fourth lot of uh, sit-ups we do is I don't know what the name for this is basically, but what we're going to be doing is, I'll show you this angle first, we're going to be doing 10, straight in front of you. So, if you see from this angle, my hands are just going to straighten between my legs to about there, just so your wrists go past your knees. Okay, so it's not a full set up, and it's not a little one of those, it's 
to here. So your back's coming off, okay? Your back's coming off and you're going through. We're doing 10 of those. After you've done 10, you then do five from the right into the middle to the left. Back to the right, into the middle, to the left. So that's to the right, to the middle, to the left. And then after that, we do another five of to the left, to the middle, and to the right. And when I say five, I don't mean one, two, three. It's one, 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 two, 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 okay? This time I'm going to do, uh, that is basically just 10 in the middle, then 5 to the left, 5 to the right, whatever way you want to go around. Vary every day is what I tend to do. Some days I'll go right to left, some days left to right. But as long as you're doing them all, okay? So I'll just show you how many, do I'll just do, well, a few. Okay, so in the middle first is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 10, and then straight away after no rest, we're going right to left first. So one, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. I'll show you another this angle left to right. One, 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 two, 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 three, three, three. Okay? Back will start aching your stomach, especially your obliques and the sides again. Uh, that is a bit of a killer one, so hopefully you'll be okay with that. Okay, the next exercise that we're going to do, I think this is the fifth, is the um, oblique twists, okay? What that is, is you put your feet bent, normal as if you learn to do a sit-up, but this time, what you're doing is actually reaching your right hand to your ankle, and your left hand to your ankle. So you're just doing this. From this angle, I'm basically reaching, reaching. After about 15, you'll start feeling your obliques really burning, okay? So uh, I'll just show you, it's one, one each side. So you're doing 50 overall, but it's, so 25, so like okay, this. So it's one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, okay? Six, six, Seven, seven, eight, eight. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is just normal setups. And that's 25 to 30 again. I always do them hands on my head and up. Nice and slow, nice and slow down. Two, three, four. It's basically what we did right at the start with the arch back but without the arch back. So instead of going down to here and lifting your back up, there's no knee, just down and straight back up, okay? You'll feel that really burn now because of all the setups you've already done. So I want you to do 25 to 30, and then stretch out again, pushing, straight up. Okay, as far as setups go, this is now the final one we're gonna do. We're gonna do jackknifes, okay? For those who don't know who they are, what they are, a jackknife is when you're laying flat and you're sitting up and reaching in the middle and down, reaching in the middle and down, okay? Um, what I like to do is do this with a weight. I've, uh, I, these are perfect, a kettlebell. I, I suggest eight to 10 kilos, or a 10 kilo weight, or five, 10, whatever you can do really. Um, I, I prefer doing it with these because they're easier to hold rather than sort of this. But I'll show you how we do What we do, the first thing we're doing is five, Straight up in the air, okay? So it's down, don't let your feet touch the floor, and up, okay? Just five. And then after that, no rest, straight into another five of bending your knees, okay? So five that way. As soon as you've done those, just five each side, you then put the weight down, keep your feet off the ground, and if you can see, it, feet off the ground, and you do five circles, five circles, First of all, you do five circles this way, and then five circles that way. And that's about putting your feet down at the end, okay? And we're gonna do that three sets of these, okay? So I'll take you through the first set. One, two, three, 
four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Put the weight down, keep your feet on the ground, off the ground. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What the circles are doing is totally aiming for your lower muscles. And that is where a lot of people get fat, so that will really help turn that up. We're going to do three of those. Okay, so that's one. Another two to go. Um, so I'll let you get on with those. Okay, I hope you're feeling good. After those, what we're going to do now is no more sucks. We're going to be working on our core strength, which is the inner muscles. Well, you'll soon find out what your core is once you start doing these, okay? What the first thing we're going to do is called the plank. Okay, basically, I'll go a bit further back so you can see exactly what it is. You have your elbows down on the mat, your feet out, and your bum parallel. So you're like this, okay? Doesn't look much, but you've got to hold this for one minute, okay? Just like this. I'll show you a bit closer so you can see a different angle, just like this. So my, my belly is off the ground, not touching the ground. And neither of my knees either. I don't know if you can see. I should have pulled these up really. So that's that, just for one minute, okay? After you've done those, it's a side plank, okay? So you have one minute of the normal plank, then we go aside. On your right side first, or left, it doesn't matter. And we stay like this, and we're going to do this for a minute as well. But the difference is, every 10 seconds, raise your hips up. So after 10 seconds, Lift your hips up as high as you can and back down to the plank. Okay, 10 seconds gone. Lift your hips up and down. We're gonna do that for a minute. After you've done that, we move on to the left side. Okay, exactly the same as the right. Now for the final thing that we're doing. Hopefully your stomachs are still with us. What this is, is we're gonna increase the strength of your lining. The reason I've done this last is now because my stomach muscles are really tired. And especially for MMA people, when you're in a fight, you will get tired and you'll be relaxed in your stomach and that's when you can get hit and that'll do a lot of damage, okay? So what I'm going to do now is increase the strength of your stomach lining. And what we do with that is a medicine ball. If you haven't got a medicine ball, you can use a football, you can use any, anything really. As long as it's hard and it's going to wind you. Um, well, you don't have to wind you, but as long as it's nice and strong and can take the weight of you on, on the stomach. Okay, what we do now is press ups onto the ball, okay? So if I lift my top up, we're gonna be doing press ups, banging the stomach down. Sidewards, just do as many as you can. I usually try to do this for two minutes. If you can't, your arms will start to burn after that. But if they do, go onto your knees and do the same. Really dropping it, okay? For the first time, I recommend you do this with a bit of strength in your arms, so you are sort of letting yourself go down a bit like this, okay? After your stomach gets really strong, you can start dropping yourself from the top, okay? So what we'll do is rest on it, no arms, up and drop. Rest on it, up and drop. Rest on it, up Okay, thanks a lot for viewing. Drop. Hopefully that'll help you. Um, what I will suggest is if you haven't done sit-ups before, then um, just do this once a week, increase it to twice a week until you can actually do every day. But actually, actually leave one day, leave a Sunday for instance where you have a rest or leave a Wednesday so it's halfway through the week, just have a rest so your stomach muscles get time to repair and then hit it again. So I say aim to get this done for six, five to six times a week, okay? And that will increase your stomach strength, your six back lines, everything. Your stomach should feel really pumped now, the line should really be showing a bit more than extra. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. And uh, a bit bad lighting in here. So hopefully that'll help you. I've got more great videos coming soon. Please subscribe again. And I'll see you very soon. Thank you.